Hi everyone, our subject today is hematuria radiourin in pediatrics. Hematuria is an abnormal number of RBC in the urine, 5 or more RBC per half hour field using a standard urine analysis on a certificate sample or more than 1 or more plus RBC on peroxidase devastic. Macroscopic hematuria is visible to the naked eye while microscopic hematuria is typically detected by the stick during routine exam. Persistent hematuria on more than two separate examination. The first voided urine is the best for exam as it is the most concentrated. The urine should be examined within two hours of voiding after which lysis of the cast occur and the analysis is inaccurate. The majority of children with asymptomatic hematuria are healthy and no serious underlying cause will be found. History Question Blood on voiding significant glomerular or renal source will be constantly bloody. Urethral bleeding is more likely at the initiation or at the end of the stream. Question Antecedent infections, streptococcal pharyngitis or impetigo significant suggest post infectious glomerulonephritis. Question Concurrent upper respiratory tract infection or gastroenteritis significant suggest IgA nephropathy. Question Any precipitation factor, trauma, exercise, maybe renal contusion, exercise hematuria or myoglobulin urea. Ask about uh, voiding symptom, dysuria, urgency, frequency. This is may suggest bacterial or viral adenovirus hemorrhagic cystitis. Question renal colic or other pain. Significant suggest stone or other obstruction process. Uh, question drop of blood or uh, spotting in underwear after or between voiding in pubertal boys. Significant suggest urethragia. Question about fever, rash, arthritis, significant sign or symptom of systemic illness or immune mediated process. Question about bleeding from any other source like gums or GIT tract, significant suggest coagulopathy. Question about terminal hematuria, significant may suggest trigonitis, hemorrhagic cystitis. Ask about medication and diet, uh, significant food or drug pigment or have a nephrotoxic effect, especially non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, penicillin and cephalosporin. A question about sexually active STD, significant urethritis, menstruation, epididymitis. In a neonate, the history should include asking about previous umbilical vessel catheterization because uh, the risk of renal venous or arterial thrombosis or significant birth asphyxia, co uh, corticomedullary necrosis. Family history, hematuria and family history may suggest familial hematuria, kidney failure or premature deafness suggest Alport syndrome. Sickle cell disease or trait in family suggest sickle nephropathy, papillary necrosis or hemoglobinuria. Uh, renal stone in family suggest renal stone, hypercalciuria or metabolic disease, cystic kidney disease in family, autosomal recessive or autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. Kidney failure or identified kidney disease nephritis in family suggest hereditary nephritis cystic disease. Physical examination, finding periorbital edema may significant for uh, glomerulonephritis, renal failure, volume overload, finding cardiovascular examination, hypertension, tachycardia, murmur, galoop, significant uh, glomerulonephritis, renal failure, volume overload, abdominal examination, ascites, organomegaly, tenderness, or mass, significant volume overload, tumor, polycystic kidney, venous thrombosis, finding bag examination, flak tenderness, Significant pyelonephritis, renal calculi, or large cyst. 
Examination of the genitalia, a blood at urethral meatus, normal urethral opening, significant urethral trauma or meatal stenosis. Perianal examination, skin breakdown, rotation, significant external source of bleeding or infection. Uh, extremity examination, peritibial edema, arthritis, significant glomerulonephritis, volume overload or systemic illness. Skin examination and mucosal examination, uh, petechial vasculitic rash or ulceration, significant systemic illness like lupus or hinoxial line purple. Hypertension may indicate glomerulonephritis, obstructive uropathy, Wilms tumor, polycystic kidney disease, or vascular process. Pallor may indicate anemia from chronic renal insufficiency, hemoglobinopathy, hemolytic uremic syndrome, leukemia, or other tumor. How to approach the child with the red color urine or hematuria after performing history and physical examination, perform urine analysis. If it is uh, heme positive, an RBC more than 5 per high power field. If it is no, uh, less than uh, 5, patient needs serum creatinine kinase, urine for uh, hemoglobin and myoglobin. Differential diagnosis, hemoglobinuria, hemolysis, hemolytic anemia, hemolytic uremic syndrome, myoglobinuria, viral myositis, rhabdomyolysis. If the patient has more than uh, 5 uh, RBC per high power field, either microscopic hematuria or gross hematuria. In cases of microscopic hematuria, uh, look for proteinuria. If it is not present, ask about uh, dysuria. If it is present, uh, do UTI, uh, urine culture, because differential diagnosis, UTI. If there is no dysuria, repeat urine, uh, urine analysis two times. If it is normal, this is isolated asymptomatic hematuria. If it is uh, not normal, pursue evaluation for gross hematuria. If it is gross hematuria, is there suspicion of upper urinary tract source, cola, brown urine, protein urea, uh, 100 mg per deciliter, or a 2 plus RBC cast, or deformed RBC? If there is uh, no, no suspicion of upper urinary tract of gross hematuria, patient need serum electrolyte, calcium, creatinine, urine, uh, calcium, creatinine ratio, urine culture if dysuria present, uh, CBC, PT, PTT, sickle screen, imaging, ultrasound, CT, KUB, cystoscopy, urine analysis of family member, diagnosis, uh, if the diagnosis is apparent from the evaluation, if it is yes, either persistent hematuria or transient, both of them are gross hematuria. In cases of persistent hematuria, differential diagnosis may include hypercalciuria, polycystic kidney disease, benign familial hematuria, thin basement membrane, nephropathy, renal bladder tumor, urolithiasis, hemoglobinopathy, sickle cell, coagulopathy, not cracker syndrome, arteriovenous malformation, hemangioma of the bladder. In cases of transient, differential diagnosis may include sexual abuse, trauma, including catheterization, cystitis, including hemorrhagic cystitis, urethritis, pyelonephritis, heavy exercise, hydronephrosis, meatal stenosis, renal vein thrombosis, cyclophosphonamide, and factitious. If there is a suspicion of upper urinary tract source of gross hematuria, patient need CBC with differential electrolyte, serum calcium, blood urea, nitrogen, creatinine, complement C3, C4, anti-streptococcal antibody, cholesterol, ANA, test for group A streptococcal if indicated, a rapid antigen detection test, throat culture, is there microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia? This is hemolytic uremic syndrome. If it is not, differential diagnosis may include post-infectious glomerulonephritis, IgA nephropathy, Albert syndrome, hinoxial line purpura, systemic lupus erythematosus, vasculitis, nephrotic syndrome, 
tubulo interstitial nephritis, good pasture syndrome, tuberous sclerosis, systemic infection like endocarditis or shunt infection. If it is heme negative, either pink, red, or cola color or tea color, differential diagnosis, porphyrine urea, drug food ingestion, aminopyrene, anthrocyanin, azos dye, beets, blackberries, chloroquine, dysferoxamine, ibuprofen, methyl doba, nitrofurination, phenothiazopyridine, phenolphthalene, pyridium, red food color, rifampine, rhodamine B, sulfasalazine, and urate. If it is dark brown or black color, differential diagnosis may include alkaptonuria, hemogenistic aciduria, methemoglobinemia, tyrosinosis, drug or food ingestion, alanine, casascara, riscoricinol, and thymol. Issue for referral. Immediate consultation needed in cases of urologic surgery consultation for anuria, uncontrollable bleeding, nephrolithiasis with urosepsis, or severe pain. Immediate hematological consultation is necessary for coagulopathy. Patient with elevated creatinine or significant proteinuria should receive consultation with pediatric nephrologist. Outpatient referral. A urologist should evaluate children with recurrent non-glomerular macroscopic hematuria of undetermined origin and those with a stone more than 10 mm in diameter or who fail to pass the stone after a trial of conservative management. Nephrology referral, uh, recurrent gross hematuria, proteinuria, RBC cast, nephrosis, edema, hypocoplementemia, hypertension, azotemia, cyst, hypercalciuria, family history, hereditary nephritis, deafness, or cystic disease. Peers and pitfalls. About 50% of children without a history of trauma evaluated for gross and or microscopic hematuria in the emergency department have a UTI. No etiology will be found for the majority of children with asymptomatic hematuria and in most cases no specific emergency department treatment is required as long as follow-up is arranged. Urine dipstick positive for RBC can indicate hemoglobinuria or myoglobinuria, so a microscopic exam must be performed to verify the presence of the RBCs. The presence of RBC cast, proteinuria, and or dysmorphic RBC indicate a glomerular source of bleeding. Top tips. Nephrocalcinosis is not uncommon in premature babies and can be seen in up to 40%. Risk factors include the use of loop diuretic, metabolic acidosis, and renal tubular acidosis. Isolated microscopic hematuria is common in healthy children and often transient. Persistent microscopic hematuria indicates more than 5 RPC per high power field at a monthly interval. Microscopic hematuria is often idiopathic. The most known cause is hypercalciuria, about 25% of cases, and is confirmed by evaluated ca elevated calcium excretion of more than 4 mg per kg in 24-hour urine collection. Hypercalcemic hypercalciuria, example hyperparathyroidism, is confirmed by high serum calcium. Proteinuria in association with hematuria is very suggestive of renal origin of the hematuria. Cast, particularly RBCs cast, indicate a diagnosis of glomerular nephritis. Gross hematuria in association with a mild edema, hypertension, and high creatinine suggest nephritic syndrome, while gross edema and proteinuria suggest nephrotic syndrome. IgA nephropathy is the most common cause of recurrent painless hematuria affecting typically children aged 8 to 10 years. There is concurrent uh, upper respiratory tract infection and proteinuria. 
hematuria subsides soon to the followed by microscopic hematuria. Diagnosis made by biopsy, mesangial deposit in the glomerular. In uh, post-infectious streptococcal uh, glomerulonephritis, the most common cause of gross hematuria worldwide, the urine is uniformly red, either brownish red or dark brown, colacala, and usually contain RBC, cast, significant abdominal pain is usually absent except in cases of inoxoline purpura. In many countries, like Egypt, hematuria is mostly due to schistosomia hematobia. Diagnosis is made by detection of eggs in the urine and feces or biopsy of the bladder, rectum, or liver. Nutcracker syndrome is due to the compression of the distal segment of the left renal vein between the superior mesenteric artery and aorta. Red flag. Common presentation of neonatal renal vein and artery thrombosis is gross hematuria, thrombocytopenia, and abdominal mass in vein thrombosis. Hypertension occurs with the arterial thrombosis, and this sign should be searched for by repeated blood pressure measurement. When a child present with the melina, with or without hematuria, he or she may have a hemorrhagic disease of a newborn. Diagnosis is supported by the history of exclusive breastfeeding child and no vitamin K was given. Neonatal vaginal discharge due to maternal hormone withdrawal is often mistaken for hematuria, particularly when the blood is mixed with the urine. Parents should be reassured. The presence of red, brown, or pink discoloration on the nabis is often urate crystal. This is a benign condition and improves rapidly with increased fluid intake. Hematuria in association with abdominal pain suggests UTI, inoxaline purpura, renal stone, or tumor. An urgent urine analysis is required in addition to ultrasound scan. It is wrong to make diagnosis of UTI based on the urine RBCs or protein or both. Positive, positive nitrate and uh, white blood cells in the dipstick are more important indicator in suggesting UTI than these two indices. Be aware that although UTI is usually caused by bacterial infection, Common respiratory viruses like adenovirus and can cause hemorrhagic cystitis, particularly in immunocompromised states. While adult and older children with the urolithiasis present nearly always with severe flank pain and hematuria, preschool children usually present with the UTI and less severe degree of flank pain. Gross hematuria following an upper respiratory tract infection suggests IgA nephropathy. Diagnosis is not established by serum complement or IgA level, but by renal biopsy showing glomerular IgA immune deposit. Thank you for your listening.